Disney fans, my name is Haley and welcome to Disney Springs. I'm currently on top of the orange garage making my way in. I cannot believe that we are here right now doing the stuff and the things. I cannot wait to go in today. We are going to the Coca-Cola store. We are going to the M&M store. We're going to Chicken Guy, one of my absolute favorites. Please subscribe down below so you don't miss any more of my Florida videos coming up. This is my trip where I'm not going to the parks. We're just doing things you can do on property without paying for the park. So we're just having a Disney Springs evening. It is currently 5.18 in the evening. It is a Friday night so you can get some crowd ideas. Let's just, let's just go. The second level of the orange garage currently has stanchions up where you wait in a big line to then get your temperature checked. I only waited about not even five minutes, so you just walked right through. And I have to say it looks very beautiful, pretty like ish crowded, but I say it's pretty average in comparison to normal times, which was the last time I was here at Springs. Right now the plan is to head all through the west side of Disney Springs and then day two of Disney Springs, which for me is tomorrow, we're gonna go over to like the landing in the marketplace where World of Disney is. So today, we're just staying all to the west side, which is by Circus Soleil, the new M&M store in Splitsville, because we're meeting up with some friends at the Coca-Cola store later today. So we're just gonna stay nearby and do all the things on this side. So then tomorrow, we can spend more time on the other side of Disney Springs. I am gonna be posting a separate M&M store video, which we're actually coming up upon right now, because I really want to take a closer look at the store because there's a lot of really really cool merchandise inside so I will make sure to have that video linked down below when it goes up as well if you'd like a more detailed review of what's in there. Just finished up at M&M we're now heading right here next to Splitsville one of the restaurants I would recommend here at Disney Springs. Coming up here on the AMC theater if we look down this little alleyway to the right you will see the new Everglazed Donut Coffee location. They got live music going on here at Splitsville. And here's Everglazed. I absolutely love this little donut cart out here. I think that's the cutest little thing. It'd be really fun if they drove it around. But I generally just like the colors here of the building. Look how cute. And then also here in the window, you can actually see them making all the donuts. That's so fun. And I also love their their little notices here. They look really, really good. Um, we haven't eaten dinner yet, so I don't think I'm gonna get mine yet. But we hope to maybe try these at some point. It looks very beautiful though. It's a nice addition to Disney Springs. I have to say right now, it smells fantastic. It is a beautiful evening. And the crowds are, are like decent. Like it's not that bad. The balloon's going up. A little breeze going. Successful trip to the M&M store. But I'm definitely going to look in the Disney Style store because I know for sure they have some new things. This store is so fun. This is where you'll find any of the new trendy Disney shirts and ears. Lots of hats here you can see. And everything is also organized by its theme. So you can see all the newsprint merchandise. Over here these are all like the little like knickknack type items. These are the phone cases they currently have which look pretty nice. I love this one. Oh my gosh, it has a little camera strap so it looks like a camera phone accessory. This is one of the little like phone holders. They even have pop sockets now. They are pretty expensive though. $14.99. Oh my gosh, look at the Mickey balloon hand sanitizer. Oh my gosh, I love the embroidered bag down there. And they have the night lights. These are so cool, the monorail night light. They also have the castle. Looks a lot more like the Disneyland castle. And they also have the Mickey hand holding the balloon. Mm, that's really cute for $16.99. The decor in here is pretty fantastic. They have the Rapunzel tangled lanterns over there. My happy place will just sign here. And just out of curiosity, how much you think this churro display would be? Because that looks fantastic. I think I'd buy it if that was available because that is just... This new line just came out a little while ago. This is the Her Universe line of transportation. And oh my gosh, the Skyway bucket, the teacup, the monorail, the buses, the tram. It literally has everything and it's pastel. I absolutely love this. $39.99 for the leggings. And then they also have shirts too. This one says Living the Dream, which I say all the time with the monorail. I love this one as well. The monorail around it. Love all the pastels. 
I, I wish they had matching ears to go with it, but the outfit itself looks adorable. Made my purchase in Disney style. Now I hang in at the Starbucks, hoping they have some of the Disney cups in here. I'm gonna pick up two of these Been There series mugs. They have the Florida and Orlando one here. Just to have a cute little set. Heading over here towards like the market place area. Passing my chicken guy, one of my absolute favorites. We'll be probably stopping there a little later. Looks like they have out the new Vera Bradley merchandise, which is very similar to the current flower and garden items. Lots of different things, even in blankets now too. A little bit of change in time here, I apologize. We're actually at the cook store right now and I actually met up with Mickey Loot. They were so very kind, I'll tell you more about that here in a moment. I wanted to point out the merchandise here before we step out. Um, they actually have a really, really amazing Florida themed merchandise like the Florida Bottling Company that's kind of similar tie in here to Disney Springs. Even the Florida Orange here, really neat merchandise. I just wanted to pan over because these are exclusive to Disney Springs, to Florida in general. So just do a quick pan, look how cool, sparkle, sparkle, all of these things are. The cups are so neat and they all say Florida or Orlando on them. Also some really nice Turbis cups even. And check out these shirts as well. Love the design work, the little details. I'm not gonna do a full look here at the Coke store. I just wanted to point out the Disney Springs exclusive stuff because that's not something that, you know, this is very similar to the M&M store where, you know, you can't get these things anywhere else. Like, I couldn't even go through this whole store. This store's actually three levels high. So, wow. Amazing, amazing time. Outside of the Coke store with some weird lighting. So I wanted to just give a huge shout out and thank you to the Mickey Loop family. I met them here at the top of the Coke store. We got ices and had just the sweetest time, the best time, loved talking to them. So I just wanted to give a shout out and big thank you to them. It was such a wonderful time. I absolutely loved meeting you and chatting with you and check out Mickey Loop if you have not already. They are so very kind and that was like such a great way to start to end our day here out at Disney Springs. It was so magical, you can't tell I'm smiling. My face hurts a little bit from smiling so much. It was just such a great time. Here's the Coke store to our left. To our right is Chicken Guy, one of my favorites. We're gonna go over there in a bit. The line's a little bit long. We have to go pick up an item over here for a friend. And I can give you a little look at that too. <laughs> I'm gonna interrupt this for a second. Kylo's barking at something. I don't know what I was doing. I went and I got a popcorn bucket for a friend. Uh, I got the Millennium Falcon popcorn bucket and I showed like them scooping the popcorn but like then I like never said anything else. I will show the box to the popcorn because we didn't get the popcorn inside of the bucket and that was just super confusing and I just never said anything and then all of a sudden or chicken guy and I don't know I think I thought I was recording because I remember recording a, like I can't even think I remember recording a clip of me walking to chicken guy with the popcorn and like explaining what was happening but I don't think I hit record because we were carrying the popcorn so that was just my bad but we had a family member waiting in line at Chicken Guy. As I said, the line was long. So they were waiting in line and then we had to bolt back there because they were almost inside. So we wouldn't be able to get in with them to order our food. So that's why like I didn't really record the rest of the popcorn thing because it was just like we had to hurry up and get back to Chicken Guy. And then it was just the whole time because we basically ran across like a quarter of Disney Springs. So anyway i apologize for interrupting i also apologize that i'm talking so fast i like the whole beginning part of this video i think i was just so excited and with the masks and stuff it was loud and i'm trying to speak up but i'm trying to be quick because we had like different meetings and things to do so it just wasn't it was just strange so <laughs> my bad uh let's enjoy some chicken <laughs> got our food super quick sitting outside Planet Hollywood right behind me. We got five beautiful little chickens. Love the packaging. But, um, so, let's eat one. I've been thinking about these for so long. Okay, um, look at that. 
beautiful chicken. Would recommend chicken guy if you're looking for a quick service, um, quick thing to eat after the park one day. You can't open your ketchup. Oh, I just do ketchup, but they have a bunch of different sauces here you can get. Let's give it a little tasty. Nice and crisp. Warm. It came out very quick. It came out very quick. What's that cool? What a good time. Here's a question. What is this called? It's a knife, but it's a fork. Fork, yes. But also... Oh, that's scary. How did you do that? I was doing it the wrong way. But in here's a knife. How fancy. I've never seen this before. But that is super neat. Very helpful. Good for the, the chicken. I didn't get to show the, the popcorn bucket. I wanted to get one of these cardboard ones because I only have a Christmas one currently. And this is a new design. It has our beautiful logo, monorail, ear hat, balloon, all hidden in here, small world. Also castle in a way. But it's like Mary Blair inspired their cruise ship. How beautiful. Like Absolutely it. love it. Cannot wait to display it. We also got the cups too. I wanted to point out, a little hard to see, it says the store. There's actually Chicken Guy store coming soon, which is what I was talking about a moment ago. I am absolutely excited. Anyway, what I was saying, I'm very excited for it because I hope that they have Chicken Guy shirts or hats or something. I would totally get one. We're now, last few things for the day, it is 9.30 on a Friday. I'll show the crowd here in a second. Um, not too bad. Um, I'll do a video like talking about how I think I feel here, like safety wise with COVID and everything. I mean, I'm pretty, we're having a good time sticking around. Um, they close at 11. They change some of the park hours and things. And Disney Springs has been like this. I think just to give people more time so they don't feel super rushed going into places and maybe making it a little bit more busy. Anyway, we're going to get some desserts and things and at least look at them. With my allergy and stuff, I really can't have many of the desserts here, unfortunately. But I definitely love to look at them because they're so very cutesy. So some of my other family members are actually gonna pick up some desserts to enjoy. After Chicken Guy, I'll see what I can get where. Um, we're not gonna do World of Disney and stuff today, as I mentioned, but we are gonna go over to Amaretz, which is right next to World of Disney, which I can't believe I'm walking through here at the moment. Um, wow. I also am just speechless. I don't know what to say. So anyway, amazing Chicken Guy again would highly recommend so very fantastic the popcorn i'm saving some of it for later because it was so good and just so you know like they have the millennium falcon bucket here at disney springs but my goodness is it beautiful oh yes here's a look at the crowd level ish you can see some like kind of just like smaller groups everyone's pretty distant and that's something also with this is like you kind of just choose how far or how close you'd like to be to people and then you can just kind of go about your own ways you can see just like it's pretty easy to space out a little uh some areas are a little more congested but overall like not too bad at least in this area it was a little more crowded back by the coke store and chicken guy just because there's a lot of outdoor eating but right here, it's pretty nice. Taking a quick stop here in the Love Pop store. I absolutely love how they have all of these displayed. And they have some Disney ones in here too. They're so like intricate, like cut, very, very detailed. Look how beautiful. Oh, look at the Frozen 2. Wow, all the little butterflies. Over here, there are a bunch of amazing Disney ones. These are about $15, $13, just depending on how like intricate, how big they might be. They're pretty standard card size. Check that out though, that there's a little Disney cupcake up there. And oh wow, this Toy Story one though. They're like their own little movie scene. There's even Lion King. It's so cool looking at them from the side and then from the front. Because like you can almost see how they were put together in a way. Little Mermaid. Wow. Those are so, so neat looking. Like check out this Marvel one. Wow, what? Here's some more Marvel ones I missed. Look at that. Look at this Iron Man. 
Like, see, as you look at it from different angles, and then down here there's also Deadpool. And a birthday cake, and then look at these Star Wars ones, they're so funny. Here are some uh, other Star Wars ones. Yeah. Little porgs, and then they have this big, like, wooden one set up that looks very similar. I like how you get to see them open up and then also close so you don't really have to, like, touch all of them. Like, it's a very simple display. I really like it. Check this out again. Look at him. He's so cute. Next stop, Uniqlo. And I love seeing all their Disney merch in here. They have some really, really cool designs. Right now, they have all of these Mickey different shirts from different countries or doing different activities. 1994, the Magic for All Icons World short sleeve shirts. You can see some of like their sizing there too. And this store set up so very nice. You can see all the different prints. And they also have lots of kids prints now. It looks like they got in some princess ones. And of course, they also have the classics here. This is a two-story store right across World of Disney. It's right over there. Alice in Wonderland. The prints are so fun and the prices really aren't too, too bad. Here's another pan through their shirts. They're very simple. You can see very faint Mickey Mouse. I like this like a dream. Like they're very like super subtle. If you're going for more like modern Disney look. This particular line is called Team Pixar and they have like a dynamic duo. They have an Uzma Kappa shirt, even Rusty's Racing Center, Sully's Scream Time. They're just classic Woody and Buzz. I think it's very plain and detailed. These t-shirts are $14.90. So there is Uniqlo we were just in. If we pan this way, there is World of Disney. And right here is Amaret's Pastries little bakery. We're currently waiting in line to check out the cutesy sweets. Now this is where they had the little WandaVision cakes and they also have Falcon Winter Soldier cakes. Here inside of Amaret's, you can see they're known for their little like ear hat looking cakes, $59 dollars for the Mickey Premium Bar Cake. Look how cutesy it looks. All chocolate on there. Fondant as well. They're also known for their little flower petals going on here. Those are the signature ones, the Mickey and Minnie. They're pretty good size too. Like you had um, like a, I don't know, maybe like five person group or something. Maybe in four if you want a big slice. You could easily split that just down four. They're really not that that big in comparison, but they're very, very cute. You can even see them making them back there, piping them back there. It's so fun to watch. It smells really great. They actually have the Falcon and Winter Soldier cake right now. You can pause and read what's inside because the line's moving in front of me, but you can see their Bucky's little logo and also the shield here on top. Who will will the shield? There's our little Mickey cakes they're arranging all. So very cute seeing here. We have some Mickey brownies and a macaron little palette, which looks so cool. And check out this little treat here on top. Oh my gosh. And they told us that Aaron and McKenna's bakery is actually very allergy friendly. Amaret's is not, at least for my allergy. They do have like some gluten free stuff, but we're gonna go over to Aaron and McKenna's just to see what they have. I've never really been able to have anything from like a bakery before. So that was their recommendation to go over there. So I'll keep you posted on what that looks like as far as like allergy stuff. Cause I haven't really heard of a bakery that's like super accommodating for an allergy like mine just cause like that's in every single dessert basically. But I will show you what the rest of my family here got from Amaretz cause it looks very, very cutesy of course. And I can't wait to see what Aaron and McKenna's have. I don't think I've ever been into Aaron and McKenna's before, so fun times a lot. Real quick, those of you who watched my Lakeland video, I actually got one of these Springs Bottling Company jars, and there's a look to where it came from. We are now by the Disney Springs from the air little booth. I'm not sure what they're calling that now. It used to be characters in flight. Right next to it, they open a sunshine churros stand. If you're familiar with downtown Disney or at Disneyland, this is basically the same thing. So we're gonna end our day, of course, with a churro. Thank you. I just got a classic little piece. It's a little twisty one. They don't normally do that at the Disney. Oh my. <laughs> so that's going to end it here from Disney Springs. Again, crowd level, you can kind of see behind me. Pretty empty. It is almost 11 o'clock. I can't remember if they closed at 11 or midnight, but either way, still great time. 
fun time. Again, shout out to Mickey, Lou, and family. Loved meeting you. Had a great time chatting with you. We enjoyed some great food today. We picked up some items today, some items for some friends today. And we'll be back to some more shopping and eating tomorrow. So stay tuned for that vlog as well. And remember to do what you love and do what makes you happy. And I will see you all next time. Bye.